Okay, so it's finally here. I've gotten requests for this over the past two years. I cannot tell you how many times. Every time I log on and someone's in the Discord and I get one of these questions. Where do I get this exotic? Where do I start this exotic quest? What perks do I want on this weapon? Which of these weapons of this type are good? What masterworks are good? Why are those good? And I'm going to go do this activity. What should I use? So let's do this. This is the Destiny 2 Crash Course Free to Play New Light Zero BS Edition TM. Here's your quick start, slap it in the microwave, get shit done without 30 minutes of talking, listening, waiting, extra nonsense. This guide assumes you have a basic understanding of how the game works, how your equipment works, and that you're the guy in the tower trying to figure out what the frick to do next and what you should have to be successful. You've done the tutorial, messed around with a few things, done a few strikes, and you just want the basics of a beginning collection to play anything this game offers. Strikes, PvP, Gambit, raids if you're froggy, let's get it. So, stat lines. Armor got updated back in September. Here's the important stuff. Stats are on your armor now. This is what they mean. From top to bottom, you have six stats on every piece of armor that you will get. Shadow keep moving forward forever that impact what you can do and when and how. Very basically, from top to bottom, here we go. The arrows is your mobility. This is how fast your character moves. If you're a hunter, this is how fast you get your class ability or your dodge back. The shield is your resilience. This is how many shots you can take before death. If you are a titan, this is how fast your barrier comes back. The next one down is the plus with the recycle symbol around it, or the reload symbol. This is your recovery. This is after taking damage, how long it takes for A, your recovery to begin, your health to come back, and how fast it comes back. If you're a warlock, this is how fast your rift comes back. The grenade is your grenade energy or discipline. This is how fast you get your grenade back. Star with the diamond is your intellect. That is how fast your super returns. The fist is how fast your charged melee, and when you punch things, how fast that comes back. The short answer for every activity that you are going to do is you want to primarily prioritize recovery always. Trust me, you stay alive in nightfalls, get back in fights in PvP faster, you want 5 or 50 to 60 resilience after that. This makes you reasonably tanky. Most importantly, in PvP, it means you can survive two thorn headshots plus the damage over time or dot. Barely, but you will be alive. You can play with the mods, make them fit how you play, go nuts, there are no wrong answers here. Since Destiny is a loot-based game and we are all after the sweet loot, let's talk about what you want to be hunting for in your complete collection. What should you prioritize first? What do you want to look for? Let's start with Hunters. For your top and bottom tree Night Stalker, this is your Void Tree, the Purple Tree, you want to be looking for Orpheus Rigs. What this does is the more kills you get, the more orbs you make with this super when you use it wearing these boots, you will get some of that energy back. The more kills, the more orbs, the more you get back. Easy. Next is the Gwizen Vest for Middle Tree Night Stalker. This is the exact same as Orpheus Rigs, but for a different super. Next is one that gets incredibly slept on. It is Chest Armor. It is good with any subclass, any time, all day, every day. That is the Dragon's Shadow. When you use your class ability while wearing this, your dodge, you can use the roll on the ground dodge instead of the dodge in awkward directions to reload your guns. Because when you use this dodge while wearing this armor, it will reload your guns, give you moving target, which is a weapon perk, quick draw, which is a weapon perk, and snapshot, which is a weapon perk, all from one piece of exotic armor. This is a PvP exotic that is top tier amazing. The last one for the hunter that we're going to talk about is the Frosties. These are better than Stompies, yes you heard me correctly, because when you dodge you increase your sprint speed and you get your dodge energy back unbelievably fast. The more you sprint, the more dodge energy, grenade energy, melee energy you will get back. This is a non-stop in the fight, keep getting your shit back exotic. It is absolutely priceless. Moving on to the Titans is everyone's favorite, Reddit's favorite, thing to hate on in this game. It is One-Eyed Mask, or OEM. This is actually kind of broken. It is a PvP exotic. If you take damage, if someone on the other team looks at you the wrong way, you will mark them for vengeance, and I use that in quotes. Vengeance is the perk that when you shoot them back, it does bonus damage, and when you kill them, you get your health back. Yes, when it marks them, you can see them behind walls. Just a fun little addition there. Uh, you can see why everyone hates it and likes to hate on it. Moving on. Next is the Helm of Saint-14 for using Top Tree Sentinel. When you block with your normal Sentinel shield, when you pull your super and you have just the shield out, you don't hold the super for your bubble. When you guard or block with your Sentinel shield, you will blind enemies that stand in front of it. Inside your bubble, enemies will be blinded when they walk in. This includes guardians. And friends, allies, your buddies, 
When they pass through it, they will get an overshield. Next up, we have the chest piece, the heart of Inmost Light. The perk is using an ability. Grenade melee barricade doesn't matter. Empowers the other two. Empowered means it comes back faster. Your melee grenades do more damage, and your barricades can take more hits before they crack or break. Pretty solid self-explanatory. Next up are the Dune Marchers. Boots exotic for the Titan. This increases your sprint speed, and it builds up a static charge. When you melee an enemy, when you punch an enemy after that, that charge chains to nearby other enemies. Pretty good. Lastly is the Mark 44 stand and assigns. Bungie named this perk appropriately. It's called Seriously. Watch out. When you start sprinting, you get an overshield, and which, if as long as you're at full health. Any of your shield bash, seismic strike, hammock strike, shoulder charge abilities, they give you back some of that melee energy. Moving on to the Warlock, we have the Sanguine Alchemy with Heightened Senses. Standing in a rift grants you and your allies heightened senses, allowing you to retain your radar when you aim down sights. Nearby enemies are marked and tracked without line of sight. That means you get wall hacks in your rift. Next is the Controverse Hold Exotic Gauntlets for any of the Void Tree, Purple Tree subclasses. You get damage resistance when charging your grenades, including handheld supernova, by the way, and charged void grenades return a random amount. This could be 0%, 5%, or 100% of your grenade energy on a hit. Next is the mobility exotic, the transverse of steps with strange protractor. A better sprint speed after a short time when you sprint, your currently equipped weapon gets reloaded for free. Next is a community favorite, and if you're uh, new to the game, a raid mandatory item, the Luna Faction Boots. Uh, basically, your rifts get an additional ability. Either you get increased weapon reload speed with Healing Rift, or Empowering Rift gives them better range and, and less damage drop-off. I'm going to take just a quick second here to talk about material farming, because uh, it's something you're going to need to do every day. Uh, it's really easy, really simple, and I've got a little, even like a little guide here videos time to show you guys exactly how this works so whenever you get armor dropped in the game it always drops low power and you're gonna have to level it because it's not gonna be like leveled at all so every day you need some materials uh to move this armor up so what you're gonna want to do is go to the tower and you're gonna go talk to the gunsmith here and you're gonna pick up his bounties they're daily the bounties are gonna be random they're just gonna tell you to go get kills in a percentage with a certain type of gun this time it's pulse rifle sniper linear fusion and solar so you're going to equip the weapons that you need to fulfill those percentages. And then we're going to go to here. We're going to go to Mars. We're going to go to this spot. And we're going to fly in. And I'm going to show you how fast this goes. This is 5-10 minutes. Easy. I'll even speed up the parts that are boring. When you're done, you'll get four enhancement cores every day, two mods for each bounty, two mod components. So that's eight mod components each day, four cores, tons of mods. You can do this on every character. You can get like 12 cores and 16 mod components a day or something like that. Bad at math, whatever. But that's how you core farm. That's how you material farm. It's really good. Just do it. Next up is an easy way to build out your collection on the weekends, it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. When you're not playing PvP Gambit or if you hate fun grinding strikes, you need to go see Zerd. It's this dude right here. He sells three exotic pieces of armor, one for each class, and an exotic weapon every week. Don't look at this top shit right now. That is bait. We're gonna just get this. Your weapon costs this many shards, your armor costs this many shards. Moving on. Next up, we're going to talk about pinnacle weapons and pinnacle cards. Every vendor, the Vanguard, Gambit, the Crucible, they all have these cards that you can pick up. They're, a new one comes out every season. You just pick them up, you grind them out, you get some really good guns. Uh, some better than others. Here are the most important ones that you want to spend some time on. 
Number one is an SMG called the Recluse. It has a Master of Arms perk, which is after you get a kill, not even with this weapon, by the way. It, uh, when you swap to the Recluse, you get five seconds of bonus damage, and it's pretty hefty. To get this, you're gonna get it from the Crucible. You gotta win 50 Crucible games and get to 2,500 in competitive. It's skill-based matchmaking, by the way, now, so very easy, knock it out. Next up is 21% Delirium from Gambit. This is a whole lot of Gambit, but it's very, very worth it. One of the best power weapons, heavy weapons in the game. Has the perk Overflow when you run over a heavy brick or a special brick. For that matter, it reloads this gun beyond normal capacity is what it says. Um, instead of 50 in a normal machine gun in the mag, or 100 in the case of this one, when you run over a heavy or a special brick, not even for this gun, you get 200 rounds in the mag. Insane. Prioritize it. Next is a gun so good that everyone wants it changed, the Revoker. You get this from uh, grinding out 21 cumulative over the season point points in Crucible and a ton of sniper kills, pretty easy. Its main perk is not only does it have snapshot and ambush sight, which is really good, especially if you play Destiny when you know what I'm talking about. It has reversal of fortune, which is if you miss, you get the bullet back after about a second and a half. Yeah, the bullet comes back into the chamber like you never shot it. I don't know how it works. It's sci-fi space magic. This is Destiny. We don't ask questions. Next up is Randy's throwing knife. This is also a Crucible weapon. Ton of scout rifle kills, a whole lot of scout rifle kills. Goddamn. But it has perk combinations. These are now ritual weapons because pinnacles were too strong. Uh, Revoker and Recluse are prime examples of this, by the way. So now you can choose between Rapid Hit, Snapshot, or Zen Moment Kill Clip. Everyone always is going to choose Rapid Hit Kill Clip because it's insane. Pick this one up. The last but not least is the Mountaintop. You are only going to get this if you do this in Momentum Control in the Crucible playlist. I swear to God, that's the only way anyone is ever going to get this gun ever again is a pain in the ass to get. It is going to take your entire life to grind for, even in momentum control, so just buckle down, settle in, don't plan on getting this in a day or a weekend. Oh my god, but super worth it, don't get me wrong. Crazy worth it, really good. Next up are the exotic weapons. I even have a little tier list so that you can prioritize over time what you want to get. The stuff down in D, you don't even want to mess with at all. Like, it's garbage. Just don't, just don't do it. Especially going into Season 10. Now, most of this stuff was built for Season 10. That's why Izanagi is in B instead of S because it's getting a whole bunch of changes and World Line Zero used to be really good for Warlocks, but now it's absolute dog shit too. So we're just going to move on and this is the stuff you want to look for Season 10 moving forward because that's pretty much when this comes out. First up is Mida Multi-Tool. This is a guaranteed exotic quest. It doesn't require RNG or or anything else you just go to the edz talk to the, talk to this dude devrim k and he'll give it to you uh google has the whole rest of it laid out for you but we're gonna talk about the guns really good scout rifles got a buff in season nine we're going into season 10 now uh the scout rifles are really good mida gives you third eye which is when you aim you keep your radar it gives you moving target which means you get to strafe and move around faster when you are aiming down but you also get the increase in sprint speed and it has high cow rounds this is an insanely really good solid overall scout rifle go get it next up is the risk runner this is an SMG, it's a 900 RPM just like the Recluse, has damage bonus from Arc Conductor when you take Arc Damage, including your own grenades, which you can do, just crank out a ton of damage, and it lasts, if you get a kill, it resets, and it's 5 seconds until you, if you can keep getting kills, you can keep it up forever. Great uptime, the Pain and Gain quest from the Gunsmith, as soon as you start the game, you can pick this up, no PvP involved, so if the Recluse isn't your thing because you don't like PvP or you want to put it off, get this now, because it's insane. Next up is Ace of Spades, just like how Mida is a really well-rounded weapon, so is the Ace of Spades, hand cannon hits hard, it's a 1 40. High cow rounds, Mentor Mori, after you get a kill and you reload, you get six bullets to do extra damage. Uh, the gun has Firefly and a hidden perk of Outlaw, so you get a speed reload when you get a kill. Super good. It's Cade's Will. You'll get that from the Gunsmith as well. Next up is what used to be my favorite gun in all of Destiny, The Last Word. It is a full auto 200 RPM hand cannon that is absolutely ridiculous. It does bonus damage uh, from the hip. They're going to be changing this in Season 10. We don't know if it's going to be really good, but uh, you'll pick this up from the Drifter. It's called the Draw, and uh, really good gun, hopefully. Next up is an incredibly good gun, really solid. Uh, probably best PvP hand cannon, no questions asked, possibly. Definitely competes for it, it's called Thorn. Uh, really long quest, I really hope you enjoy PvP because you're gonna spend a lot of time getting it done, plus a pretty difficult strike at the end of it. However, Discord's got some people to help in it. The LFG has got a lot of people to help with it. You can get through it. You can get this. Great gun. It has a damage over time. It poisons your enemy. They take ticks of damage. Uh, insane. Super good. Guardians with less than five resilience will die to two headshots plus the burn. Easy. Next up is a gun that is really good, but it's probably really only good for warlocks, and that's Lumina. You'll get this next to the campfire that you pick up Thorn in the EDZ. Hip firing it gives you healing bullets, and in the process to get this gun, you get the hand cannon, legendary hand cannon Rose, which is crazy good, super solid. Pick it up. Undeniably, the best secret quest this game has ever had is the new one for the Outbreak Perfected. You basically go pick up an iPad from a heroic adventure, and then you get started on a quest. It's really fast. You can 
knock this out in like an hour. Uh, you pick up the iPad, you go scan some nodes, there's stuff on Google for that, and then you do a 20 minute mission. If you can finish before, if you can kill absolutely everything in there and finish before the time ends, you get this gun. It's very solid. Lastly, it is probably the best DPS weapon in the game at the current moment. Probably will still be very, very good, but it's getting some changes, so we just don't know where it's going to land, and that's why I put it in B tier. However, it's Nagi's Burden. This is the, uh, another reason it's in B tier is because it's one of the, pro no, it is the biggest pain in the ass quest to get because it takes like four weekends. I uh, used to take almost a month because everything was time gated, but now you can knock it all out, but uh, you have that rare bounty that's going to be a pain in the ass. Good luck with that. See it through. This game, this gun's unbelievable. All right, now let's talk about weapon perks. For most of your weapons, you want something that helps you aim faster, draw faster, improves handling, improves mobility, or improves damage. Damage first. So things like kill clip, rampage, rapid hit, snapshot, all these things are really good. And you're going to see a bunch of these perks fall into this kind of stuff. You want to look for those. Because this is a crash course, you're not going to go into crazy detail about all these. If you want to look at builds, if you want to look at weapon perks, you want to look at god rolls, there's going to be resources at the end of this guide that will help you find very specific things that you want. I'm going to talk about very briefly kind of the archetypes of weapons that you want to look for. First up is a scout rifle. These are good at long ranges. They pair well with SMGs, shotguns, even fusion rifles in some cases. But for our purposes, SMGs and shotguns are going to pair with this because we have synergy. We have long range, short range things to deal with people far away, people up close. Scout rifles first. Pulse rifles fit into the next section where they are not as long range as scout rifles but not as short range as hand cannons. They fill that middle ground. Very solid for the middle ground. Next are hand cannons. These are short range, medium range-ish, depending on the archetype. High damage weapons, pair these with a sniper, pair these with a bow if you're crazy, but good place to start there. SMGs are a great utility weapon. These cover short to medium ranges. They will shut down shotgunners in PvP. They're great for trash mobs in PvE. Shotguns are your quick shutdown, barrel stuffing bosses that don't stomp, kill something close up real quick. When you got it, it's gotta die now, use a shotgun. Snipers are your long range. They pair really well with hand cannons like we mentioned. These are great long range, high DPS weapons. Next up we have grenade launchers for your heavy slot. Grenade launchers are king right now. They're getting dialed back a little bit, but they're still gonna be insane. If you're not gonna use a grenade launcher, you need to use a machine gun. These machine guns have a lot of ammo, and they crank out a ton of damage. Pick them up. Before we get into specific perks and where to find these sweet guns, we're going to talk about the masterworks you're looking for. They're in this slot here. The first one, the most important one we're going to look at is handling. This is how fast you swap weapons, how fast they ready so that you can pull the trigger and it shoots the bullet. Really solid to look for. Top tier. If you're not going to be going for handling, you want to be going for range. This isn't going to, on PC, it's going to increase your hitbox. On console, it's going to increase your aim assist. It also increases the damage fall off distance for your weapons. Range is number two. Number three is stability. Weapons get unwieldy and recoil control can be difficult for some, less difficult for others. However, more stability is never a bad thing. This is number three. Lastly, reload speed. If you can't get handling, range, or stability, take reload speed. If it's not one of those, it's not worth keeping. Now let's talk about where you find these guns. You go into your director, you have all these planets, all these options. So for Gambit, you are looking for the Bygones Pulse Rifle. When you hit a certain infamy rank, this gun automatically unlocks with a really good roll, which is full auto kill clip with high cal rounds. You can also find the shotgun, the Parcel of Stardust. You're looking for slide shot, moving target, and a damage perk here. That we have the Reckoning, which is a Gambit style activity, or it's in the Gambit directory anyway. If you're looking for the Spare Rations Hand Cannon with Rapid Hit, a damage perk of some kind, or Snapshot. The Bug Out Bag SMG is really, really good. Uh, same things here. Moving Target, Slide Shot, Damage Perk of some kind, and then we have the Outlast Pulse Rifle, which is Full Auto, Snapshot, Kill Clip, Outlaw, Rampage, something of that nature. Moving on to a weapon you can find anywhere is the High Impact Pulse Rifle, the Go Figure. You can get this with different magazines perks, different scopes, those are all okay. If you're looking for Outlaw, Full Auto, Kill Clip, Rampage, any combination, these are all really good options. It's a very solid gun that can drop literally anywhere. Next are your Vanguard weapons. You can get these from doing strikes, in strikes from the vendor when you turn in tokens, things like that, is the Nightshade Pulse Rifle. This is a rapid fire frame that gives you a ton of options, really great perks, very solid actually. You can also pick up the grenade launcher, the Outrageous Fortune. You're looking for things like spike grenades, Rampage, and take anything else because they're great. You can also go to the gun Smith, the same guy we got our material farming bounties from, and you can pick up the Black Scorpion's Scout Rifle. Full auto, great perk set, it's really awesome, pick this up. 
Next up is the Mammoth Table of Loot that you can get out of the Menagerie, which is a six player match made activity. You go in, do some little activities, get to a boss, kill the boss, you literally can't fail it. And this graphic on the screen right now, the top row is the first rune you need to put into the chalice, the side row is the second rune you need to put into a chalice, and that's just based on color. And you cross reference, that's the gun that pops out. This is a great way to get all of these guns. And anything in here you can get, they're all decent, some better than others, starting with waking vigil this is a hand cannon it's a 150 rpm it is great comes with great perks it is really really solid in just about every activity next is the callus mini tool this is just like the mita mini tool except it comes from the menagerie and can come with random rolls so you get an access to a wider perk pool just like in gamma you can also get the parcel of stardust which has random rolls and you can get a great set of perks for pvp probably the best sniper in the game that is not an exotic is the beloved this is a great uh, ldr model from destiny 1 that's been reimagined in destiny 2 great perks you can get the this in the menagerie as well followed by the second best which is fake cries foul you can also get this from the crucible playlist random perks lastly you can hop over to the dreaming city and pick up a couple of other guns you can find the waking vigil here is a world drop anything you do in the dreaming city you can drop there as well as the retold tail shotgun this is a high impact really good perks come on this gun not a lot of people play pvp in destiny but i am one of those that this is one of the only reasons that i play this game i really enjoy it while you're in the crucible playlist from match ends rewards and for rank up packages and Anytime you turn in tokens, you can get these guns out of the Crucible, the Fake Cry's Foul Sniper that we talked about. Really good perks, and it's a really solid high-impact sniper. You can also pick up the Play of the Game Grenade Launcher that comes with a bunch of perks, and this is really solid. Lastly, we have to mention the Forges. You can't always get everything you want, but there is one guaranteed gun when you start the road to unlock the Forges, and that's the Hammerhead Machine Gun. This is the curated or guaranteed roll that you get. It is absolutely insane. Lastly, I want to point you guys to some other content creators that do a much better job of going in-depth on all this kind of stuff. This wasn't meant to go in-depth. This is just a crash course to get you started free to play you don't have to have expansions no season passes no dlc no expansions just jump in get started find this stuff and make it on the way if this is well received i will continue to do builds i will continue to go more in depth but for now here's your crash course enjoy new light Throughout your time in Destiny, if you find out that you want to know more, you want to go deeper, you want to get some more into this game, you can check out these guys. The first one is Asked Across. He's a super funny dude that is a pillar of the Destiny community. He puts out news. Uh, he's really funny, quality content. Uh, he's your guy to check out for builds and get more in-depth about weapon and armor reviews. Speaking of news, if you want to know what's happening in Destiny now and in the future, or anything that's been leaked, what's coming up, what's happening at the moment, community feedback, stuff like that, you're going to want to look at Houndish. He is fantastic. Next up, if you want to math Destiny to death, and you want to learn the most optimal way to do things, you want raid guides, you want something really intricate, you need to go see Datto. If you want the most pristine Crucible experience, you want to learn what guns are good, why they're good, what builds are good, and why they're good, and you want to really dig into high-level competitive PvP, you need to check out Kami Kicks. Next up is one of the funny guys. His name is Hush. He's absolutely hilarious. Uh, you'll really enjoy his content. And then you've got Cruiser, who is a mix between Kami Kicks and Hush. He's very funny, pretty competitive, does a lot of both. Uh, you'll like him. Lastly, a guy named Imtashed. He's not my audience. I'm not his audience. How's that go? Anyway, he does a little bit of everything. Everybody that we covered before, he doesn't really specialize in any of it. He kind of does a little bit of all of it. Check him out. And that's going to do it for me. This has been your Crash Course for Destiny 2 New Light Free to Play uh, Zero BS Edition. I hope it was helpful. Uh, let me know if it was in the comments. Appreciate it very much. Good luck, guys. Enjoy New Light. Yeah. Dude, less than 25 minutes start to finish with all of this info? That's not bad. I'll take it.